Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Proenza and today we're going to talk about CAT photo app of FreeCodeCamp, the part of responsive web design, all right? So in this project, we're going to work with HTML, all right? Basically, this learning the basic concepts of HTML and this is how it's going to look like in the end. We're going to have here an image, we're going to have a list with an image, another list with another image and a CAT form in here, okay? So this will be, this is the preview of what we're going to build. All Alright, so let's just start. So the link for free code camp is in the description, okay? And here we're gonna start doing everything. So the main idea of this video is to do all the exercises and explain to you step by step, but I'm not gonna read what is in these boxes, okay? I'm gonna give you a better explanation. Okay, so let's start taking a look in here. This is the name of the file, index.html, okay? And every time we're creating an HTML file, we start with this HTML tag, the body, we close the body tag and the HTML tag. So in HTML, we normally use these tags, all right? Then, what is the body? Basically, the body is everything we can see. So, like we can see in here, the H1, it's saying hello world, and we're seeing here a title saying hello world, okay? What is our task in here? We're gonna change this hello world to cat photo app, okay? So, if I put here, for example, Giovanna, here it will change to Giovanna. In our case, we need to change to cat photo app, okay? And if we check our code, we pass. All right, let's go to the next step. Then they're kind of telling us that we have different sizes for heading. So I'm going to do some tests in here. For example, if I put here high with an H2, we're going to see that H2 is a little bit smaller than the H1 and so on and so forth. So we have numbers from H1, 2, H3, H4 and H5. And I will be showing what is the big difference here. If I change in here, I put one extra that we don't need. And if I put in here four, five, and six. So we can see that the H1 is the largest one and the H6 is the smaller one. And we normally work with the headings according to their the importance in the page, okay? In this case, they want us to have an H2, so I'm gonna remove the other H's, the other headings. And here we're gonna display cat photos. So what we can see by this, that cat photo app is the most important title in the page and cat photos is the second one, okay? Congratulations, let's go to the next step. Then we're gonna use a paragraph. So we have the headings H1 to 6, and we also have paragraphs. If we wanna display a paragraph, we just need to do the P tag in here. And a paragraph is just nothing more than a regular paragraph that we write in texts. Okay, and we can see in here, it's a regular paragraph, all right? Remember, you have to submit exactly the messages they are telling us, otherwise it won't work. Another thing that is important is that we can add some comments while we are uh, working with HTML. So for example, if you want to add a comment of something that you, oh, I have to do this, or oh, don't forget to do something else. So it's always good to add some comments so you remember what you did so far, what you have to do once you go back to your code. So basically in here, how can we create a comment? You're gonna use in here the angular bracket exclamation mark dash dash. Okay, and now you see that's everything green. So here you can write any message you want. I'm gonna write this to do. Okay, and if you see it's not displaying here, but we need to close this comment tag because you see the paragraph is not showing anymore. So to close, you use dash dash and close with the angular bracket. Okay, so you're making a comment in here. All right, let's go to the next one. Now we're going to work with uh, the main session and basically the main session is a tag that we're going to say what is the main session. It's pretty much this, okay, pretty much the English. So we're going to have an, uh, we're going to open up an H1 um, main tag after the H1 and we're going to close the main tag in the end of the paragraph. So we're saying that the H2 and the paragraph are the main thing we want to display in our page, okay? 
Then here they are telling us about using uh, indentation. So every time we're working with tags and we're saying that something is inside of the other, we need to use indentation. So you can use two spaces or you can use the tab and it will create this indentation here. Do you see we're saying that these two, the comment and the paragraph are all inside the main tag, okay? Then for the step seven, they're telling us to create an image. So how an image work? It's a self-closing tag, so we don't need two tags, one in, the, the, in front and one in the other. So we're gonna add an image tag, it's just IMG. And in the next step, we're gonna see what properties we can add. Okay, so so far it's an image, we can see anything. And now in the step eight, we're gonna learn how can we put actually a file to be displayed in here. So basically an image has two attributes. We have the source, SRC, all right? And in the source, we're gonna say what is the image we wanna display. So in this case, we're gonna copy this link address and we're gonna paste. And now we can see the cat image, okay? So the source will tell us what is the image we wanna display. Besides that, we have the alt attribute and basically the alt attribute will be a description for what your image is. In cases when your image doesn't load or if we bring the incorrect link address for the image. So here we can use the alt, I will show you how it works. And here we're gonna copy and paste this message, a cute orange cat lying on its back. So for example, if I change here, the, if I remove here the source, we don't have the image anymore, but we have here the alt attribute, the acute orange cat, blah, blah, blah. So this alt message is displayed when we cannot load the image, okay? And that's pretty much what we have. So now we're gonna work with the A tag, and basically the A tag will create a hyperlink that will redirect us to somewhere else. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna open up here the A tag, okay? And I'm gonna close in here. I wanna display this link, okay? But I wanna make this a hyperlink. So to make this a hyperlink, I will tell where I want to redirect once we click. So I'm gonna do href equals, and inside the quotation mark, we're gonna say where we wanna go. So now do you see it became a hyperlink, all right? If we hover, we can see here the cursor to a hyperlink. So if we check, we're passing here, great. So now what they are telling us to do, we're just telling us to change here the text. So we're gonna say cat photos, okay? And now the cat photos will be the message we're gonna display in here. And that's it, let's go to the next one. Then, now, it, they want us to make this cat photos to replace this in our paragraph. So basically, we can use an href, an a tag in our paragraph, inside of our paragraph in here, okay? And this will create this way that we're seeing right now. The, we're gonna have a paragraph and only cat photos will be an a uh, hyperlink, okay? This is how yeah, can we do this. Let's go to the next one. And now we can add the target attribute and what the target attribute will be. It will tell us what is gonna happen once we click the button. So if we click this hyperlink, we wanna open up a new tab, a new window, or we wanna redirect this page we are right now to this. If we add this target underscore blank, it will open it up a new tab for us. Okay, so this is the second attribute that we can add, target equals to underscore blank. For example, if I click here, cat photos, this is saying normally this link would bring you to another website, it works, this is a link to blah, blah, blah. So this message is telling us that it's working. All right, let's go to the next one. Now we're going to change the href we're using, all right? So we're gonna make change we're gonna change this, not gonna have the H, the hyperlink in the link, but also in the image. So we're gonna put a, a tag, a href around the image, okay? So here, I'm gonna close, and once the user click the image, the user will be redirected to another page, all right? And we can take a look in here. Sorry, it didn't pass, why is that? Because here there is an empty space. For example, if I hover the image, now we have this uh, cursor height, this cursor pointer, and if I click, it is redirecting us. So we can add a hyperlink in a text uh, in itself or in an image like we're seeing right now, okay? Then after the main, we can have some sessions. So we have the main session and we can have other sessions during our page. So in here, we're gonna have a session that will take currently located within the main element and 
after. So I think it will be in here, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, let's try it out. No, I didn't pass the test. So it will be actually inside the main. So here inside the main, we're gonna separate this into a session. This session will be just a separation between what is in inside of the session and what is not. Okay, just separating the logic behind. All right, we pass in here. We can barely see the changes, right? But in the future, we're gonna see some similarities. Now inside the main, we're gonna add a second se session. So we're gonna split this into a second session. All right, and if we check our code, now it's in a second session. This is good because we can split. In one session, we have something, some content. In the second session, we have something different. Now we're gonna create a new H2. So the first H2, it was in the first session. And now the second H2 will be a second session that we have named cat lists. Okay, and now we're gonna work with lists. So like we can see in here, we're creating a second session called cat lists. Great. Now in this cat list, we're gonna have a H3. So remember from this, from the previous uh, minutes where we were explaining that we can have different sizes for H for headings. So here is an H3, and like we can see here, it's a little bit smaller than the cat's list. That is an H2, right? I was missing here a colon. Great, and if I try it again, we're passing. Now we're gonna create an unordered list. So basically an unordered list will be a list where that is not ordered, right? This seems obvious, but the main difference is that an unordered list, well, we can use bullet points, and an ordered list, we can have numbers. So one, two, and three, for example. How can we make an unordered list? We're gonna use the UL tag, okay? And then we need to close the UL. This way we create the structure of an unordered list. But this is not enough for creating an unordered list. Every list contains list items. So here we need the li. The li means list item. So we have the structure of an unordered list, but we need the li inside. So for example, if I could put here this first li, we can see here the bullet point, all right? And now we see that it's an unordered list with an item so far. And we're gonna fill in with the other types. So laser pointers, and lasagna. <laughs> okay, and if we take a look in here, our unordered list contains three items. Okay, let's check our code. Great, now we're gonna work with this. We're gonna add a new image to our, to appear here beneath our unordered list. So after this, we're gonna create an image, remember IMG, and we need to say the source. So the source of our image will be this one, okay? And if we paste in here, it will appear the image of a cat, of a lasagna, sorry. And we can display this out message here in case where the image does not load. So we can add here this I slice of lasagna in a plate. Okay, so again, if I change this, the font in here, it's appearing a crash image and a slice of lasagna. Okay, but now this is in here. Great, let's go to the next one. Now we can use this figure element that represents like a, a legend of the message, so the image, so it will appear below the image saying the, a description of this, for example, an image of a lasagna. So to do this, we're gonna create here the figure. So here, we're gonna use the figure to create a container where it's gonna contain the image and the legend. So here, figure. Okay, so far it won't display anything, but later we can see. In the next step, we're gonna see. Because this fake caption will display a message below the image in here. So let's try it out. We need the figure to uh, create a relationship between the image and the text, and this fake caption will create this for us. So if I put in here, cats love lasagna, and I close here with fake caption. Let's take a look. Now we have here the image and here we have this message, cats love lasagna, okay? So this is nice about figures, all right? Now 
what do we have in here? We can emphasize the word love. And how can we emphasize the word love? We can make this in italic if we use the EM element. So we can put EM before the word love and we close slash EM after the word love. And in here, if we take a look, love, it's the only word that it's in italic, okay? Great. Now we're gonna have an H3 and we're gonna do a unordered list. So now top three things cats hate. So now we're gonna do a list of what cats hate. So far we have what cats love and now we're gonna have the top things cats hate. Okay? And now we're gonna use an unordered list. So for unordered list we are using UL, for ordered list we use OL. So it will be pretty similar to this, okay? to the unordered list, but now it will be OL. And you're gonna notice the main difference in here. If I put here three, three treatment, and if we take a look in here, unordered list, now we have a number in front instead of bullet point. Okay, so now we can add the list item thunder, and the other list item cats. I love cats because they have, they're pretty interesting animals and they don't like other cats. So here, like we can see, we have the tops in an ordered list, all right? So now we're gonna do the same. We're gonna create again a figure element, like we did for the lasagna. We're gonna create a figure element, and then we're gonna create an image with something. Okay, so right now we can't see anything, but now we're gonna have an image with the source in here. Let's see, with the source. So if we scroll down, now we have this image with these cats and we're gonna add an alt message for this cat, this image here, okay. And then we're gonna work with the fig caption like we saw, oops, I put reset, no, no, no. Now we're gonna work with the fig caption that we did here for the lasagna. So remember to add here a fig caption and we're gonna add the message caption and we're gonna add this message inside, cats hate other cats. And if we take a look, now we have the same message. Now we're gonna learn one other uh, style that we can add. So, so far we were working with the italic here in love. Now we can use a strong in between the word hate here, strong, because the strong will make it bold, okay? So here's strong. Like we can see right now, hate is bolder. All right, let's go to the next one. Now we're gonna do a third, a new session. So it will be after our last session. Here I'm gonna open up and close the tag session. Great. And now we're gonna do the form. I don't know if you remember from the beginning. So first we need an H2. We're gonna say cat form. We're almost finishing. And the H2 in here is in the same level as the cat's list and the cat photo. Now we're gonna create a form. So how can we create a form element? We just need to open and close the form. We're gonna say